Well, let's it. rate the hold on. Let's let's rate the future album because hold on. Okay. I think you feel the way you said something and you got inside of my head when we were pre gaming and you were like, "This is better than the Pusha T album." And I was like, "Get out of my head." Future's album is better than the Pusha T album. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We don't lie. Hold on. And next <laughs> time, tell Pharrell. No, no, no. Tell Pharrell because I've had a week. Hold on. Let's address the whole Apple iTunes jacking our whole Steve. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. All right, let's just go there real quick. Right. But the future is better than the pusher. So, like, what? What you thinking, Mike? Like, I was thinking, I was thinking it's not a 4.5. So it's been brought to our attention that Apple Music has put the Pusha T album is almost dry into a format where it's Pharrell versus Ye. And they have lined up the songs where it's Pharrell songs versus Kanye songs. Now, produced songs, excuse me. Now, Coop, you said in the previous episode, uh, or two previous episodes last Friday when we were talking about the album, that they should have done this in a double disc format, right? Where you have Pharrell side and Kanye side. Looks like they've done that. I'm gonna need people to just stop stealing our shit all the time, Mike. <laughs> hey, we do it for hip hop, you know. No, 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 for real. Like, like, <laughs> Mike, you're, you're, Mike, you're way nicer than I am. The just impact like, is crazy. No, no, no. We, Your camera went nice out for a No, 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 it's coming back home. Okay. You're nicer than I am in life about all these things, and I commend you for it. But it's just like. <laughs> when you sent me that late last night, I'm just like, so, you know, everybody's watching us, everybody's stealing our shit, but don't nobody want to say our name. Like, that that's what I mean about, like, how the streets work. That, like, that's not how the streets work. When somebody takes you, like, like, like they, they slide you a line, and, like, they let you know, like, that's how it works. And it's like, I'm not an industry guy. And so it's like, this is the type of shit that make me want to run up on somebody in Apple. Yeah. Like because like for real, they just took my whole. This is this is why Ghost is talking like this on the purple tape, Mike. Because I'm tired of niggas stealing our shit. Because here's what yeah. happened on the purple tape. Wu Tang until the Wu Tang had been out for a couple of years, and Ghost had watched niggas just steal their shit for a couple of years. Yeah. So and Maddox says like, Apple well, Music. I'm feeling a certain type of way. Stop stealing our shit. It's like if you're gonna steal our shit, like 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 at least throw us a byline because according to Hip Hop's podcast, it's on Apple Music and every other major platform. So the least that you weak ass motherfuckers can do with your half breed off brand ass is say like, <laughs> "Yo, this came from the According to Hip Hop podcast." Follow according to hip hop on Apple Music. That's the least they can do because I'm tired of this sucking shit. And Michael, when we make it all the way. All this shit that I'm talking, I'm running up on motherfuckers live and in person with the same energy. Be like, when we meet motherfuckers from Apple Music, I'd be like, yo, what's up with that podcast and that playlist They're shit? They're going to act brand new. So I'm Maddox gonna says... Brand new, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> so Maddox says, Apple Music swagger jacking. Ebro must be watching. Yeah, I'm sure they're all in the group right now. You know, yeah, 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 And we, yeah, like I, mean, I said, they... man, we appreciate all of y'all watching because honestly, the reason why we're able to make calls like this is because y'all are out here watching converse and they see what the people are about you know what i mean uh rigor raw seven what up man he said what up y'all i'm late went uh went for a walk with my son coop you know i hit you on the dms future got some bangers on there but it's overall mid come on guys i will tell you this (laughs) i think the people that are saying that this is overall mid or looking at it from the perspective, that underground perspective of everybody being outside on the underground level because of what's happened with the pandemic. Here's yeah. how I take this future album. And I'm glad Rigor Raw said that. And, and me and Rigor Raw do be talking on the inbox on Twitter. Um, follow Coop on Twitter, album. by the way. And follow According this, to Hip Hop on Twitter as well. All the time. This is one of those things that let me know that the major label artist was back outside. Like Future's the first major label artist to really go back outside and put a project together that says I'm back outside for today's audience. And so we need to take that into account too. I think this record sounds totally different pre-pandemic in terms of how he puts it together. That's what I mean about the conciseness of it, Mike. It's 16 tracks. It's not even 50 minutes long. Future, just because of how he likes to rant and rave and draw and his rapping style, oh, all the records are good for four minutes. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so there is a conciseness to this and an in and out to this that lets me know that he's watching what's going on. And this is this is this is an industry album, Mike. This is a great industry. 
album. This is the industry album we've probably been waiting this, on. This is what and I'm I think Pusha T was supposed album. to be an industry album too, but that's, it wasn't. In no, way. that's why I don't like what Pharrell did because what you do is you try to put put Pusha T in a realm where he has to deal with guys like Future, yep. who really specialize in doing this major lab, label like release type of sounding album, and it's like this is why I didn't like what they did with Pusha T's album because Future's album sounds better because they didn't put Pusha T's album together with Pusha T in mind. How about exactly. that? Exactly. How about you You're put right. the fucking album together with the artist in mind? You're right. Not your intentions, not your ego, not your gravitas, not these happy ass beats that aren't intense enough for this intense ass rapper to rap over. No, Period. that's real. That's real. Period. LP says, yeah. with the super chat, LP says, uh, if you follow hip hop on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, there's no way you don't come across according to hip hop. They see it. We all see it. Right. We outside. Like, look here. They said we I need to uh, review the Fife album, though. Yes, we I do. I told you, this whole podcast, I be feeling like Ghost on the Purple Tape. It's like it's not my album, but I'm about to run up on you about it if you keep fucking with me. <laughs> and I'm for real, Mike. Like, Apple Music better stop playing with us and give us some props before I start trashing they trashy ass, too, and go to title. They're never going to give us props. I mean, unless they try to uh, reach out and give us, like, a morning show or something. No, I mean, no, 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 no. Would y'all no, want no. us to actually be on Apple Music for a morning show? I mean... They would want us to be watered down. The opportunity is when I'm going to throw the chair at them Styles P style <laughs> in the office. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, don't offer us shit now. That's what I'm saying. I'm not interested in the motherfuckers that's biting off our style. Right. Trying to jump on us when we get big and offer us shit. Like, I'm going to hurt your feelings. I'm going to hurt your face. Like, I'm not going to be like Star like, Buck Wild on Hot 9-7. Or mm-hmm. like when my man Star, shout out to Star, man, legend. When he got on Everyday Struggle <laughs> for like a couple months. <laughs> we, we be on Apple Music stuff. for like a it's couple like, of I'm months. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like yo, I was like split the album in two, make it the yay side and the Pharrell side, and it's like you niggas did a whole playlist. They said good it's idea. Like, no, 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 they didn't do a whole playlist. Just, no, 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 no that, cool, cool, cool. You got to cool. Be about. They didn't do a playlist. They recalibrated the album. So when you look up the album now and click the album, it says that that's not even a playlist. Shout out to DiCarlo with the Super Chat. He said, people don't listen to Future. That's why they call it mid. But overall, I think it's his best work since uh, Dirty Sprite 2. DiCarlo. And 4. It might be his best work beginning to end. Yeah, that shit is fine. on Apple Music about that shit right there, Mike. (laughs) (laughs) Like I told y'all, like I'm I'm outside for real. It's like, do they got Apple offices in Atlanta? Gray88 says, Apple Music offer 5 million. Y'all taking it? No. Five million to do what? To do what? What they gonna do? They already stealing our shit. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) I might as well roll up on them and take what they got live. (laughs) Right. Like, what you got live? What car you stepping? That's my car now, nigga. (laughs) But yeah, I think that's really interesting, man. What do we want to rate this album, man, at this point? What are you thinking? It's better than the push. We gave the push 4.25. It is better than the push. Does push push need to come down some? I mean, I was cool with, like I told you, I was said I'm cool with the four or the four point two five because here here's my thing. What albums are you playing this week off the push? Because I'm playing the the songs mm-hmm. that I thought were great that I didn't hear, so I'm only playing three records right now, and that's Brambleton, Let the Smoker Shine the Coop, and the Joint with His Brother. Those are the records that I played this week regularly because I've already heard Neck and Wrist. I've been wore Diet Coke out already. Thanks for releasing it way too motherfucking early. Right. Clearly, it's not like that. The like open air and call my bluff is like if I'm playing the album and I catch it, I'll catch it. But that's what I mean about the songs, not a five. And this is what I mean about open air and call my bluffs, not a five. Oh, I need to hear Brambleton and let the smoker shine the coop right now. I don't need to hear open air or call my bluff. But if I do, it's cool. That means them records is just cool. Yeah. Rigor Raw with the super chat. He says if y'all sign with Apple and dumb it down. Um, the chat's going to eat through you. Definitely. We're going to eat through ourselves. <laughs> uh, shout out to LP. He said push is a 3.5 with all due respect. Huh. Huh. Coop, you there? Your camera did some things. Yeah, it's going out right now. I don't know what's going on. Give me a second. Can yeah, you hear me? Frozen. 
Yeah, yeah, I hear you, but you're frozen right now. Yeah, um, give me a second. Okay, I think you it came back a little bit. I see you now. Yeah, that's the regular cam. I'm okay. trying to get other plan. Tana up. Talk 4. I see that in the chat. Now, I've seen Tana Talk 4 being mentioned a lot when it comes to um, It's Almost Dry. You think Tana Talk 4 is better than It's Almost Dry? <clears throat> so... You remember when we were having the, uh, and this is what I mean about how um, the Hitler wears Hermes 8 comes back into play for me. Mm -hmm. Because the Pusha T album has highlights like that has, where it's like, well, the high moments are some of the highest stuff that you're going to find. And so do I think the highlights on Tana Talk 4 are matching that? Like, how about this? I'll tell you this. I don't think that there is one track on Tana Talk 4 that's better than the best three tracks on Pusha T's album. But it's an album. It's not song by song basis. Brambleton, Let the Smoker Shine the Coop, and I'll Pray for You. I think that's the Malice joint, the joint with Malice. Mm -hmm. Those are better than anything on Tana Talk 4, but is that better in totality? Like, is it better than the Uncle Bun track? Yeah. Is, is it resonate from begin to end? Did he think about it? Are his guest appearances as good? Because what I would also tell you is, is that, well, how great is your album when the main two verses getting talked about don't belong to you? And I hate to do that to him because he's my guy. But the main two verses being talked about on this album belong to Jay-Z and your brother. Now, how great did you really do? And I tell me I'm wrong. No, you're 100% right. Well, I'm going to be honest and objective about who my favorite MC is post Nas's prime. So pretty much this has been my favorite MC post Godson. And yeah. I don't appreciate you releasing an album where, quite frankly, people are talking about Jay-Z's verse and your brother's verse, but not your verses. That means you didn't deliver. I think his <laughs> best verse on the album and the way he sounded like the Pusha T I know is Dreaming of the Past, yeah. Dreaming of the Past, right. Uh, 007 says, Push For Me got bumped up to a, a 4 point, what is that, a 4.105 out of 5? It didn't stick. It did. That's what I'm saying is like, did he stick the landing? I told you, Let the Smoker Shine the Coop is almost if you know level so that means it's classic brambleton's the best joint on there classic the joint with his brother i'm not even sure how classic it is we just haven't heard them together in a while because if we start going down clip songs it's like is that even a top 15 clip song no jay and show so, the super chat says if you if you think apple music was coining for that you should be supporting a2hh with more than just likes your wallet shows what you believe we really appreciate that man we appreciate all of the love you know what speaking of uh support with your wallet or whatnot uh me and coop got like this logo that's being worked on for the show and i think we're gonna put these things on some shirts and coffee cups y'all rocking with that i mean i'm cool with the people rocking i'm still rolling up on apple about this shit though <laughs> like they stole, my, they stole my whole shit live yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's money it's recording my, my first album is on iTunes. The nerve of you motherfuckers. Ryan Gillum with the Super Chat says, there are two albums that y'all need to check out uh, when y'all get a chance. Oh, God. <laughs> Killian's Blue Water Road and Luke Go Mouth. Man, it's just so much material out there. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Didn't you just hit us on Twitter with the Go Mouth? I think so. I think so. I got that. I got Damn, okay. I got it. Oh, my God. I'm, it's, it's on the list. Uh, Billy Boss says, yeah, Tana Talks for a still album of the year. Mm. I agree. The Carlos Barely. says, uh, Currency's project is still the better than Benny's. Splitting Going hairs. Back and forth. We're splitting hairs right, right now. We're splitting hairs for me between Conway, Benny, and Currency's album. Pusha T's album is not as good as those three. I think Love's album is a little bit better than Pusha T's album, too. I think Future's album is a little bit better. I yeah. think Pusha's album is better than Gunna's album. I think and Pusha's album, I mean, not Pusha's album. I think Future's album is going to have some legs. I hear legs. some I hear some potentially big songs on here, especially when he's dropping at the beginning of May, so it's going to ride through the summer. I, I hear some summer records on this Future album. Okay, so, so what do we do about an artist like Pusha T who, because, okay, so 
Hitler wears Hermes eight, I think, came in seven or eighth last year. Mm-hmm. Of the year. Something Correct? Like that. Yep. Okay, so Pusha T's album doesn't even have as many bangers as Hitler wears Hermes eight. Like it doesn't have think about this. Hitler wears Hermes eight had Vogue cover, Spoons, Westheimer, Bash Money, 99 Ava Rex, Hell on Earth 2. I just gave you six tracks. Aren't those six tracks almost better than everything on Pusha T's album except for Brambleton and Smoker Shine the Coop? Yeah. That album came in eight. I think I'm about, let me go ahead and pull up the yearbook. Pull up the yearbook. I'm going to pull up the digital yearbook real quick. I need, to, I need to step. Get, get, Mike, pull up the yearbook. Talk to people about the yearbook. Let me know where Hitler wears Hermes 8 rank right quick. We'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, we got another super chat here. It says, Coop guarantees you like uh, push this album better with time. Give your thoughts after the summer. Uh, Jason says, Ransom is album of the year so far to me. Now, you know what, man? We got to check this Ransom. Y'all keep talking about this Ransom. Um, yeah. Because Ransom has been consistent as hell over the past couple of years. Um, so, yeah. Everybody's saying Ransom nice. So, you guys are in agreement that Ransom has a better album than push and benny where y'all ranking that and i guess where we're going right now looks like it's wide open for kendrick what do y'all think we should rate this uh future album for the people that heard it because i think we're looking at like 4.2 i don't know if push is dropping out of the top top 10 and no, nah, I don't think Push is dropping out of the top ten. I'm gonna wait for Coop to get back so we can finish this discussion on that. Of course, Future's album has legs. He's a bigger artist. <sighs> he would do well, even though the album is trash. <laughs> Ransom and Benny going head up. Okay, y'all giving it a two point five, three point five, solid four. And DiCarlo, you actually like the album. So I'm going to take this four in consideration. Because, again, I think there's some home runs on here. I'm cool with the four because I think that's what we gave Hitler where it's Hermes 8. And don't, I don't need to sit on it longer. I heard Daytona. I heard Hell Hath No Fury. I heard Lord Willen. I heard Till the Casket Drops. It's not better than any of those albums. Hmm. Well, you know what? I know I kind of went away for a second. Let me, um, I'm pulling up the yearbook. Got the digital yearbook here so we can actually. So, well, hold it's on. Barely, it's barely better than My Name Is My Name. If it's not for Brambleton and Smoker Shine the Coop, this isn't even better than My Name Is My Name. And I'm not even sure if it's better than that. All right, so I got the digital yearbook, our 2021 yearbook here. Uh, let me get to the section where, what were you talking about? The top albums of last year? Yeah, what did Hitler wears Hermes 8 rank? I think I feel like I put it at 7 or 8. Uh, let's see. I mean, so we got check. top 20 slept on albums. Man, these are the top 20 featured appearances. Yeah, that's really dope, too. This is all in the digital yearbook. Y'all guys can um, go to our community section, and you can get that whenever you like to if you don't want to deal with the physical part of, you know, getting the getting everything mailed out. Because I know shipping's been an issue for some people. Uh, I'm at the versus part. You said top albums, right? Okay, here we go. All right, so we got Magic at one. We got uh, King's Disease 2. Hold on. Isaiah Rashad. Hold up. I want to give people another view. Okay. Isaiah okay. Rashad. Skazu. No, AZ. D yeah, AZ, Doda. All the brilliant things, Skazu. Call Me Sorry. If You Get Lost, Tyler. Uh, Hitler Wears Hermes 8 after that. Seven. Okay, so Hitler Wears Hermes 8 is better than this Pusha T album. Okay. And so after that, we got um, Makami. Balanced Child, right? Yeah. And then we so, got uh, Boldy James or Bo Jackson. Okay, so that's and these are all, yeah. these are four. Bo Jackson is 4.25. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, so I'm cool with the 4.25. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with the 4.25 if we're being consistent because I have it. I don't think it's as good as Hitler wears Hermes 8. Put it in the balanced child, Bo Jackson area. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. You ain't winning album of the year with that. 
It's not better than Hitler wears Hermes A. Do you think is there? It- Hold on. After Brambleton and Let the Smoker Shine the Coop, what are the two best songs on Hitler wears Hermes A? Hold on one second. I'm getting our screens back together because that was just on a whim. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Other than Brambleton, Brambleton and... and Let the Smoker Shine the Coop. Uh huh. What's the best songs on Hitler wears Hermes A? What's the two best? Brambleton and Let the Smoker Shine the Cooper, the two best I was, songs. I was going to say Hell on Earth, too, right? Yep. Um, 99 Averex comes to mind. But again, right. it's a so lot, man. Right it's some, it's some on. heavy ones on there. No, no, no. So let's stop right there. So let's just say that Brambleton and Let the Smoker Shine the Coop, those two songs, let's mm-hmm. say those two songs are better than Hell on Earth 2 and 99 Averex. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen to what I'm about to say. Is there anything on Pusha T's project that's better than Vogue cover or Westheimer or Spoons? I don't or think Bash so. Money. Spoons is crazy. Spoons is crazy. Bash Money with Wayne. Yeah. Westheimer with Sauce and Boldy and yeah. Stowe. No. And see, that, that's what we're going to have to do. When we're, when we're rating this stuff, and these are the things that Source Magazine couldn't do back in the day. We can mm-hmm. go to our yearbook and we can start matching this stuff up so we're not speaking out of turn. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and I think that having this document. We need to be happy important. with that 4.25 before we move into four. Yeah. And then the people at home, man, if you got the yearbook at home, you can go through the yearbook yourself while we're talking this and be like, wait, wait, guys. Y'all gave mm-hmm. this this. Is this right. matching up with this? Shout out to DiCarlo out there. He says, Push his album gave me Nasir vibes, underperformed. I think it underperformed on every not level. Not that far, not that far of underperformed. I, I get it, though. I mean, but the effort that was put into it, there really wasn't a lot of effort put into Nasir. I think that the well, expectations... they wouldn't. We wouldn't feel this way had they not ran their damn mouth so much about this Pusha T album. It's almost dry. If they would have shut me fuck up and just dropped out, we'd be like, oh, this is another dope-ass Pusha T project. Because you talk album of the year, and you put him... And you talk but you want him being a mixtape rapper, and then you drop him the week before Future, and Future show you what a real major release look like from a real major artist. <laughs> and Kanye showed up on the Future album in ways Kanye that he showed didn't. up and showed out with maybe the best song. <laughs> right. <laughs> the best song on the damn album is, is with Kanye. It's like, I, I think this confirms that Kanye was not rocking with the way that this push a roll out went. Well, that's why that's why I was always cool. That's why I was always cool with Pusha just being cool G rap though. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, and I think Kanye probably uh, echoes your sentiments mm-hmm. because they tried to make him something else, and Kanye was like, "I'm not with this." Ain't nobody, ain't nobody made this dope shit work except for Jay and Jeezy. Man, stop making it seem like you' about to be mainstream doing this shit. Jay and Jeezy, that's what mainstream dope boy. And it wasn't look like. even Jay's dope boy raps that made him mainstream. It was the other stuff. Right, which is why Jeezy didn't stay mainstream too long. That was the next yeah. sentiment I was about to say. Yeah. Uh, Rigor yeah. Raw um, says, I was riding down 285 and on Lowry with that future earlier. It's like a six certified bangers on there. Don't oh, overrate fam, it. Cause... I was on Lowry earlier. <laughs> Just because future. I was future... on Lowry today, fam. <laughs> West End with it. Yeah. Uh, Lucini oh. says, uh, Coop Open Air is a five. Just so you remember, as a five, I'm surprised uh, at you, Coop, especially. Are we going to rate these individual songs? We did. I'm surprised at that beat. Make no, that I'm talking about better. on the future. Oh, open air? I thought he was talking about open air on the Pusha T tune. No, he was. But I'm just saying, are we going to rate the individual songs on this future like we did the Pusha T one? Maybe not this show. Let's give it a little bit more burn. Yeah. Dissecting future is more of a process than dissecting Pusha. Interesting enough, right? Interesting enough. No, that's one of the brilliant things about Pusher. He's he's all-time great in the sense is that, okay, so all-time, look at our all-time great MCs. No matter what their capability or their skill level is, they have this amazing capability about Mm -hmm. making you understand them the first time that you hear them. Illmatic, Reasonable Doubt, um, Scarface on... um, Mr. Scarface is back. I loved him on that album, actually. Ice Cube on America's Most Wanted. Yep. 
uh, Ghostface Killer on Iron Man. No, you understand everything that they're saying. Well, you don't understand everything Ghost is saying, but you understand where he's coming from. You understand, you understand what that he's saying something. Right, Tupac on, on even even on um, Tupacalypse now. It's like no, it's very clear how he's talking and what he's. You understand the greats clearly. You under Kiss. Every time Kiss spit, no matter how lyrical it is, you understand him clearly. Yeah, hear me that clearly. Is part of, that is part of the mark on it. So Pusha does that extremely well, but that's part of why the future James Brown thing is so valid. It's the nuance of when a motherfucker just say, hey, and it feel good on the track. It's a feeling. It's a vibe. It's, you know, it's like, I don't know why he did that. It sounds like he's having a heart attack, but it sounds right. I want to dance to it. think I'm going to dance. <laughs> okay, so we're giving future four. Because I want to get to the next topic real quick. And if we, we, to be honest with you, Mike, I think we're about to downgrade a lot of motherfuckers. We're going to give Push a four and we're going to give Future a four, even though I think the future's better. Okay. We give and and what, we, what we need to do from here on out, we do need to go back to our yearbooks and, you no. know, and we kind of line yearbook. things up. Hold on. Do you think that this Push is better than the Bo Jackson? I don't think about- I think don't about think so. I don't think so. Take flowers and all the beginning the in production the alchemist didn't I don't give think out so. point. Me neither. Four. I don't think so. Yeah. Both of these niggas for. Yeah. Both of these niggas for. I oh, think Bo football. Jackson really, you know, looking back at the yearbook and seeing that Bo Jackson was rated what it was, yeah, right. that made me put a lot of this in perspective. All, all mumble trappers and all just straight up dope boy trappers get a grip. Four. Okay. 